The best shoes for motorcycle touring are not recommended for riding. Let me explain. For riding, I've got the Indy Ridge boots here. There's going to be a review coming on these guys, but I want to use them a little more. I bought them partway through last season, and so I haven't fully put them through the torture test or whatever you want to say, but so far, impressions are good. Indy Ridge boots, I do like them. For motorcycle touring, I'm not just talking about riding though. You get to your destination, you're walking around, you're lounging, whatever. Motorcycle boots aren't always the best for that. Motorcycle boots provide great support for on the bike. If you're in a accident or anything, they're going to provide protection for ankles and toes and all of the different things with your foot. So motorcycle boots, highly recommended. But what about when you get to camp? What about when you get to your hotel? What if you're going out on the town for the night? Motorcycle boots aren't usually the best for that. And if you've got any feet problems, flat feet or arch problems or this or that, I don't even know all the foot problems. I'm not a foot doctor, but I do know that for most people, they want to get out of their hot, sweaty motorcycle boots, give those boots a rest and put on something more comfortable for just lounging around or checking out the town that you're in or whatever. So, hey dudes, think what you want about hey dudes, whatever. They're super light, they're comfortable, they're like wearing slippers, so at the end of a ride, it's nice just to be able to put on some hey dudes. I've got three different pairs. This is kind of my good pair. So I won't probably take these, but follow me here. These are, these are the first pair I bought. They were on sale. I got them cheap. I didn't get to choose a style or color. I just wanted to try them. And like I said, they were on sale. They were cheap. So this is a great example. One that you don't care so much about, whatever. I've worn these quite a bit, but if they get dirty, pull out the insoles, throw them in the washing machine, Throw, I just throw them in the dryer to dry, whatever. They're easy to take care of. Um, but the cool thing is like these can just pack down and fit really easily in your saddlebag or in your tour pack or in your sissy bar bag, whatever. Like you can find a place to put these. They'll be perfectly fine when you take them out of your bag, when you get to your destination, when you're hanging out at your campground, when you're in the hotel, whatever you've got some lightweight, comfortable shoes to wear. So now hopefully you understand when I say the best shoes for motorcycle touring are not meant for riding in. This is where I'm going with that because I won't recommend putting on any serious miles wearing Hey Dudes. There's no protection here, no ankle protection, no toe protection. They're not waterproof, obviously. <laughs> So, no, I'm not going to put some serious miles on while I'm wearing Hey Dudes. I'm going to leave that to my actual motorcycle riding boots, these Indy Ridges here. But these are heavy. They're hot. You know, they're not, they're not like abnormally heavy or hot, but you, you get it. They're waterproof. They're not going to be that breathable. It's good to give your shoes a break anyways, because if you're, Riding all day in these, it's hot, you're sweaty, maybe you go through some rain, they get wet. You need to give these a chance to dry out at the end of the day, to breathe a little bit. And that's where having a second pair of shoes comes in really handy. And where like a pair of tennis shoes is going to be big and bulky and take up a bunch of extra space in your saddlebag. Like a pair of tennis shoes, if your size is like 10, 12, that's going to take up a huge chunk of your saddlebag, right? I'm size 12, like these are not going to take up much space in your bag and they're lightweight and all that. You don't have to do Hey Dudes. I'm just saying that's what I use. Like they're, I, I like Hey Dudes. They're comfortable. They do what I want. They feel the way I would want them to feel. But if you found something similar, sure. Something small, lightweight, compact, that's fine. Definitely go with something like that. But for me, 
it's the dudes. So, what do you think? Hey dudes for off the bike, motorcycle touring, agree, disagree? Let me know. Comments are below. Thanks a lot, have a good one. Stay safe out there as always, and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.